On today's episode, we're talking about ice that's not melting. Welcome to Impossible Science. Hey everyone, it's Jason Latimer, world champion of magic, coming to you with another Impossible Science. As a magician, I tend to focus on properties that are being changed. So like in my stage show, bending light or shaping water, I try to change the property of what you think that object would be doing. And in this case, can I get ice to refuse to melt? Now, what you just saw was a trick, but it did make me think, is there a way to make that illusion a reality through science. And it turns out there is an actual reason why your microwave has that defrost button and that ice in your microwave doesn't melt the way you think it does. A microwave oven heats up our food and beverages by using actual microwaves, oscillating at roughly 2.5 billion times per second. These microwaves reflect back and forth inside the oven, forming a standing wave with an oscillating electric field. The electric field in these waves exerts a twisting force on any water molecule because the positive and negative charges in each water molecule are separated. This allows the waves to speed up the rotations, and this additional energy soon speeds up the molecules as they move around colliding with each other. This is exactly what it means to heat something up. But inside an ice cube, the individual water molecules are not able to rotate because they're bound together by what's called a hydrogen bond. These hydrogen bonds are so strong, they're strong enough to prevent the rotation even when the microwave is on. So microwaves cannot really heat up ice very much at all. Now that we know what should happen, let's take a look for ourselves. Now that we understand how a microwave works, that makes the experiment of ice not melting in a microwave make a little bit more sense. With the electromagnetic field flipping back and forth, we can now see why the water molecules are now spinning at different rates which is making it absorb energy, and that's creating the heat, and that's what gets water hot in a microwave. But with ice, the electromagnetic field flipping back and forth is not strong enough to break that hydrogen bond to get it to rotate. Since it's not rotating, it's not absorbing energy, and that makes it stay ice. It doesn't melt. To do this experiment, you're gonna need two plastic containers. I'm gonna do one with water, and I'm gonna do one with ice. And for the kids watching the show, make sure that you have your parents' permission to help you out in this experiment, because we are gonna be dealing with some hot water. I'm gonna be using my safety goggles, and I've got a safety glove for when the water comes out, because it's gonna be hot. In this case, I'm gonna take a temperature of the water, about 67 degrees, while the ice is 13 degrees Fahrenheit. Now to do this experiment, we're gonna actually take out the glass tray. Put the ice in there and the water. You can do this with just one minute to see the difference, but I'm gonna make it two minutes because I really wanna show the difference. Now, the reason why we took the glass plate out is because glass is made of mainly sodium and, and other impurities, but they are actually sodium ions, which means it's an atom or molecule that has some type of net charge, which works much like the water molecules that are rotating back and forth. That net charge interacts with the electromagnetic field and allows us to absorb heat. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. You can still see the frost on the ice. The ice, it's heated up a little bit. It says a temperature of 26. This is 157 degrees Fahrenheit. This is still ice. That's a pretty mind-blowing experiment, right? It looks like magic. That ice is defying what's happening inside the microwave. But once you understand the science, it makes perfect sense. Well, if you enjoy making an impossible topic reality through science, let me know. Click the like button, share the video with your friends. And if you enjoy making impossible topics a reality, well, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And until next time, stay curious. Because the right question changes everything.